What's up guys, it's Cody calling back at you with another video and today we have another upgrade to do to the truck So we're gonna go ahead and throw a new part on and then we're gonna do another uh, 0 to 45 performance test So this is the new part that we have this is the fuel pressure spring now This is by uh, 86th industries and the link to this will be in my video description. Now, a lot of people, they buy this kit it, from a different brand and the kit comes with a blue spring. It's called the blue spring upgrade. And um, if you do end up going with that kit, the spring comes painted blue. So I recommend uh, taking that paint off with brake cleaner because from the research I've done, I read some reviews. One guy said the paint came off in his fuel. Another guy said he was able to use brake cleaner to remove the paint. So I definitely recommend doing that. But I just went with the spring only. It's $25. It's supposed to be a really simple upgrade. Uh, should take a few minutes to install. And then, like I said, we'll do a performance test, 0 to 45. And by the end of this video, hopefully you guys will... Um, basically have an idea of whether or not you want to do this or not easy and cheap so we'll see if it makes a difference and it's worth it and then um like i said the link will be in the description so let's go ahead and throw this on and we'll see if it makes a difference all right you guys so let me show you where this mod is done in here this is your uh, fuel filter and attached to it right here is this fitting so you should just have to take this compression fitting off and then you take these two allen head bolts off and then this plastic cap right here comes off and the spring should be inside of there I would definitely take this off and move this uh, tubing out of the way instead of just taking these two Allen heads off and trying to move the whole thing. So we're gonna take both off. So let's see how it goes. All right, so now everything is off and loose. Um, I can already see the spring in there, but I don't wanna mess with this too much with the camera in my hand because I don't wanna drop anything. But I can see there's the spring. You can kind of see it in there. So I'm just gonna put the camera down and push this back and take the spring out, put the new one in, and we'll put it back together. By the way, there's our springs next to each other. This is the old one on the left and the new one on the right. So you could tell there's about an eighth inch longer on the new one. And then I can't really tell with my fingers, but um, the new one should be more stiff too. I, I could tell a little bit, but there's our, uh, our difference between the old one and the new one right there. All right, you guys, so that's pretty much it. The new spring is in, so we're gonna go ahead and do our zero to 45 test. If you remember from my last zero to 45, we're trying to beat about 8.10 to 8.15. So I'd be happy even just seeing eight seconds, zero to 45, and uh, better driving, better throttle response and acceleration from the truck. I'll be happy with that, especially for a $25 spring, and it took maybe 20 minutes to do. So let's jump in the truck and do the performance test. But real quick before that, I just want to say a couple things. If you're new here, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And the other thing I want to say is a lot of my subscribers and viewers also have 7.3s or even other diesel trucks. So if you do, please follow me on Instagram. Here's my name on Instagram uh, right here. And uh, DM me some pictures of your trucks. I want to see everybody's trucks. I want to see what you have, even if it's a project or you don't think it looks good right now, but you're working on it. Send me some pictures of your truck on Instagram. Let's see what you guys got. All right, let's go ahead and get to the performance test. All right, guys, there it is. So I ran the truck for a little while, got it nice and warmed up, got some fuel flowing through it and uh, broke in that spring a little bit and then did my zero to 45 and this is what I got. So I ran it, uh, I don't know if you can see it, there it is. I ran it about three times, four times. I, I tested the stopwatch and I got anywhere from 7.85 to 7.95. So just under eight seconds. I said I'd be happy with eight seconds and we got just under it. We went from about 8.15 to about 7.9, zero to 45, just from that $25 part. So there you guys go. You can see it makes a difference. $25 part took less than 30 minutes to put on, super easy. Uh, so far, we did the exhaust back pressure sensor, which took off a quarter of a second, and that was about 80 bucks. And then $15 for the air intake heater delete plug and $25 for the fuel pressure spring. Those two combined knocked off a little over another quarter of a second. So we're only at about $125 uh, so far, and we've knocked off a little over half a second on the zero to 45. So they make a difference, little things here and there. Again, the truck is running way better, even that half a second zero to 45 doesn't really sound like anything major but the truck feels better just driving the the throttle response i can get on it way easier way better so i'm happy with it so i'm gonna buy another part soon uh i don't know exactly what's next i really want to do the hutch mod soon because a lot of people are recommending i do the hutch mod for the fuel 
and then I really want to get rid of that K&N intake. I was going to buy one. I almost jumped the gun and bought one. And then I messaged them beforehand to make sure it was carb legal and I was going to get a carb sticker since I'm in California. And they messaged me back that it was not carb legal. So I'm glad I didn't buy that one. So I think I might just go with a Napa, one of those Napa, what is it, 6637 filters. But in order to put that on, I'll have to remove my heat shield. My heat shield takes up too much space and that Napa filter is huge. So I won't, I won't be able to put on that filter with that heat shield. But that's okay. That shouldn't be a big deal. So I'll still have the K&N uh, intake tube. And then I'll just take the filter off and put the Napa filter on. So I might do that soon unless I can find another good uh, cold air intake kit that's not too expensive. Uh, some of them seem to be running like 300 bucks. And I don't really want to spend that if I already have the uh, K&N intake tube and I could just change the filter. I'd like to buy a dry washable filter instead of the Napa one. But I'm having a hard time finding one of those just the filter that fits my truck. So if you guys know any of those that work, have any good um, suggestions on that filter, please leave a comment on the link down below for that as well. And uh, we're going to keep putting parts on and keep making videos for you guys. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, send me pictures of your truck, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.